Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I'm here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my Leos who are watching. So if you have Leo as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Leo, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and get started with your reading, Leo, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for the sign of Leo. So it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. All right, Leo, so let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Let's check in on the energy that we do have coming towards you in regards to love. Can we please get a few messages for Leo? Who is this person? Okay, we have three cards to get started. Let's see what else we need to know so far. Who is this person? that is coming towards leo and how do they truly feel all right leo so we'll go ahead and take these um, few cards that we have before i do show them and get started please keep in mind that any energy feelings emotions actions that i'm describing from your person that could be how you feel the roles could be reversed just however this reading resonates for you please only take what resonates out of this reading so First card we have, if only we could start over fresh, I'd never let you slip from me again. I took it personal because I would never do that to you. I'm thinking about you, but stalling making the first move. When I'm with you, I'm the best version of myself. You bring me so much peace. And losing your love was not worth it. So, Leo, I apologize if you don't want to hear about someone from the past, but it seems like this is somebody that you already know of or you once knew. Um, I feel like you were dealing with a person who you may have saw their full potential or even the idea of what they could be just by the little things that they would show you about themselves. But within that connection, I feel like this person was maybe not so mature or they were still going through some things that they needed to handle on their own. And you may have been fully willing to assist this person, but something that I've learned and maybe that you've taken in or observed is that some people just need to go through things on their own, especially when it's maturing or or growing into the highest version of themselves because you could be there to assist leo but sometimes if a person is not ready to really make those steps towards this high high highest version of themselves things can get jumbled up things can get messy and it it affects you as well so i feel like you were maybe dealing with a person who was just not so much mature they were hurting and it's like that saying hurt people hurt people they may have hurt you within the process when you were just trying to love this person and move move forward with the both of you at your at the both of your best interest so i feel like this connection had a tower moment or it had an ending and you really took it to heart, Leo. Maybe this person betrayed you. They maybe lied or deceived you. Um, but it was something that you you didn't think would happen because of the person that you were or the person that you are to them. We do have, I took it personal because I would never do that to you. This person crossed the line. They may have crossed the line here. And like I said, it was something that you wouldn't have ever thought of because of how upfront and 
vulnerable that you were being towards this person. So once this came out, it was like, it, it really went against you. It was something that could not be easily forgiven or maybe forgiven at all. So this person may have really thrown a wrench at this connection and that was all it all it took because you may have question this person up until or once this this energy took place you may have questioned what they ever wanted with you what they ever thought about your love that you were putting out there to them but there's this feeling of regret that this person has also looking back and thinking how they may have or may not may have but how they could have been more open and receptive to you. And I, I feel like they were partially, but it, it's like this person may have sabotaged what they had going on with you. And now they're looking back at it from afar and just feeling like if they were to be a bit easier with you or if they were to just accept this love and be more mature about their own hardships, what they're working through, what they're working towards, something so much greater could have been out of the out of the connection that you two had. We do have when I'm the when I'm with you, I'm the best version of myself. I feel like this is how this person feels feels towards you, Leo. You were very uplifting. Maybe this person's number one supporter. People may have viewed them differently, but you you were in their corner. Even when they may have done something that you didn't agree upon, you may have tried to tell this person or you told them about it. Not like you're scolding them, but for, for them maybe not to be so quick or to just think about things before responding. And this person definitely sees that and they realize that now. Maybe you, Leo, this connection may have ended um, partially due to this person maybe leaning on you too much. And it's not like you didn't want that or you had an issue, but if you're at a different level than this person is and they're somewhat behind you um, and they're depending on your energy or you've just naturally become a supportive person but this person isn't doing the most to support themselves that energy can weigh on you and it could cause stress so maybe that was a factor as well we have you bring me so much peace I feel like this is also their energy towards you just a lovable person um someone that when they're with you they they take their mind off of what doesn't necessarily matter or the things that they are angry or upset about within themselves or their life. So definitely seeing you as a bright light in their life. We have, if only we could start fresh, I never let you slip from me again. This person wants to, or they're hoping to have a chance with you. And if they had another chance with you, Leo, they would cradle it with both hands they would nurture it they would make sure your needs and your wants are fulfilled show you that love that you gave to them and this time around it's time for you to sit back and relax and let them show you what they've done differently or what they can do better i'm thinking about you but stalling making the first move this i feel like this is their energy here for some of my leos out there maybe you do have like a want to just check in on them but then at the same time you knew how or you know how this connection ended and to open up that door again and for it to happen the same way or transpire the same way it did in the past it, it's not worth it to you but I feel like primarily this is this person's energy they might be stalling because of how things how things left off maybe they think that you you've moved on for good also just Maybe a feeling of guilt here because of what happened in the past. Losing your love was not worth it, their energy to you. They wish they could go back in time and change things. Because it's like right now you two are at a are at a complete distance or as far as any chance or hope of you two coming back together, this person really 
feels like the odds are against them. All right, let's see what else we have for Leo, please. What else do we need to know about this energy? Okay, we'll take this card. Let's just get one more card, please, for Leo. Okay, so we have I'm Not Far Behind. When I see you, I see happiness all around. Show me you, keep it honest. I'm ready to be honest with you. Then we also have, I love that you have a mind of your own. It's rare these days. All right, Leo, so going back to you bring me so much peace and when i see you i see happiness all around this is part of the reason to why this person was very attracted to you your energy your vibe your presence you're the sun card you're the strength card um i, I feel like they they did have this admiration for you just the person you are and kind of wishing that they were like that at least when this tension started to arise so maybe there was this energy of this person clinging on to you but at the same time things are not where they could be they're not the best and sometimes when someone thinks something is going to run out or someone is going to walk away they cling so much harder and it creates a burden on you on the connection so there may have been an energy like that um but this person knowing that you are the one that they want they love you and they know that you can attract better or you might find better and the risk of that is 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 high they feel it so it's nerve-wracking but it's not healthy and there may have been some lies in this connection some hidden like or lies but this person acted like everything was good we do have show me you keep it honest i feel like this is your energy towards this person yeah maybe an energy of deception or you feeling like there may have been a point where you didn't know what to believe from this person so it's like let's backtrack here or maybe not even wanting to backtrack but trying to gather yourself like what is this person really about like who are they if there was a huge a huge shock or deception betrayal that came in in the middle here we do have i'm ready to be honest with you i feel like this is their energy them wanting to come towards you showing you who they really are and not it's not that you didn't see who they really were um maybe you did if their true colors were exposed and you you do not want a second chance with them but i i feel like they have worked on themselves and they're able to acknowledge what they were doing wrong why they weren't the best person that they could have been to you maybe coming clean about something as well we have i love that you have a mind of your own it's rare these days this could be a mutual energy maybe this is something that you liked about this person they were different from the rest. Maybe they were a bit of an, not an outsider, but someone who, like their, their energy isn't the most approachable on the surface level or appealing on the surface level. But once you get to know them, this person has a lot of heart, but they may have been through something. Same to you, Leo. Um, I feel like this this is how this person feels towards you also in the way that um, there's no one else like you that they've encountered, that they've met before. Also, just how you operate. Um, and this person feels it or knows that so much more if you were the one to just cut it off quickly, just turn cold. And they, they know that was because you knew that you did not deserve this from them. And I'm not far behind. I feel like this is their energy coming towards you, Leo. Let's see what sign you might be dealing with here. Can we please get a sign for Leo? Aries. 
Sagittarius. So some fire energy. Let's get one more sign, please, for Leo and Gemini. All right, Leo, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.